connecting two forms. So now we're going to go a step further and take this box and connect this with this using a conduit. Okay, why I would do this, I have no idea. But uh, the for this exercise, I want to start thinking outside the box, thinking how do I change something from one thing to the next, and teach you how to do that. So in this case, what I want to do is connect this box with this triangle pyramid. So to do so, first off, all I do is have to match face for face. Uh, let's say I have this face over here, and what I want to do is connect it to this shape. Okay. I'm going to take this face and delete it. I'm going to take this face and delete it. Then what I'm going to do is take this object and this object and go mesh combine. All right. Last thing I showed you was the bridge command. Well, keep in mind the bridge command works just perfectly if there's only one hole here and one hole here. Anytime there is two holes in a mesh on the same object, it fails. Such as when I went in here to try to bridge this, it would have failed. Here, it's going to do it automatically for me because there's only one hole on one object, only one hole on the other object, and I can hit apply and it will bridge across those two objects. Okay, and setting the number of divisions, you can say three, bridge. So there we go. That is connecting two meshes that would have been hard to connect, no doubt about it, if I just had to draw polygons out there. And I get this weird shape. Okay. All right, so that is the bridge command outside of... Um, the box and how to use it. Please move on to the next video.